Welcome to Education Lifeline. Today we will be solving equations with decimals and fractions in them. Now, if you haven't watched our previous videos on solving equations, they will be linked in the description below as well as on the top right hand corner of your screen. Please check those videos out before you watch this one. So, when we see equations with decimals or fractions in them, we might get intimidated at first, but they are not at all complicated. The first example we have has decimals in them, but all we need to do is solve the equation just as we would do if the decimals were integers. Just like solving any equation, we need to get rid of the constants first. So we can subtract 3.9 from both sides of the equation. Once we do that, we will get 0.4x on the left hand side and we need to subtract 5.78 by 3.9 on the right hand side to get 1.88. Now we can divide both sides by 0 0.4. We're left with x on the left side and 1.88 divided by 0.4 is 4.7 on the right side. And that will be our final answer. So the next example we have here has a fraction as the coefficient. So we're going to start off with adding 5 to both sides. And we're left with 4 fifths t equals 3 plus 5 or 8. Now when we have an equation like this, we, need, we can multiply by the reciprocal of the fraction to both sides of the equation so that we're left with t on the left hand side and 8 times 5 is 40, 40 divided by 4 is 10 on the right hand side. And that's our final answer. The last example we have here has fractions with different denominators. And when we have fractions with different denominators, we need to multiply both sides by the least common multiple of the denominators. So we're going to multiply both sides by the least common multiple of 3 and 6, which is 6. So we need to distribute the 6 to the x divided by 3 and x divided or by 1. And then we're going to distribute the other 6 to 5x divided by 6 and negative 3. So 6 times x divided by 3 is 6x divided by 3, which reduces to 2x. 6 times 1 is 6 and on the right hand side we have 6 times 5x divided by 6. The 6 cancels out so we are left with 5x and then negative 3 times 6 which is negative 18. Now we can subtract 2x from both sides of the equation. And we're left with 6 on the left hand side, 5 minus, 5x five minus 2x equals 3x minus 18. Now we can add 18 to both sides to get 6 plus 18 or 24 on the first side and 3x on the second side. We can divide by 3 to get 8 equals x. And that's our final product. Please like this video and subscribe to Education Lifeline. Be sure to watch our previous videos and check the description below for other helpful resources. Thanks for watching.